What's up, guys? It's Emily back again. Uh, that's my other intro. <laughs> I always do that, don't I? Welcome back to the Azura Media Club, home of the Bad Girl Coven. I'm your Coven leader, Emily. Today we're talking and finishing up Code Lyoko Season 4 Inside Out 2 shirt. Not relevant at all, but I, I fuck it, right? We're doing this. Um, so, I haven't exactly been quiet about my dislike of the repetitiveness of Season 4, as I talked about in the last video. There are a lot of problems with Season 4 in terms of it's supposed to be this ending, and, and you want it to sort of be like an emotional ride, you know, because of that or something. The disappointing part is that it comes to be just more of the same. They add new gimmicks like them, like, virtualizing or re- un de virtualizing into the real world, except they're their Ryoko counterparts, which is cool. I like that as a concept. The whole replicas thing, like, all of that was interesting, you know? Good call trying to spice things up a bit, but, you know, it just... It, it's kind of too late in the story to be adding these new elements. We need to finish old elements and, and wrap up the story, but they're not interested in doing any of that until, like, four episodes from the end, you know? And the rest is just kind of filler. And they finally start getting into some stuff four episodes from the end when it's like, William's parents come along and they're like, who the fuck is this? This isn't our son, you know, basically. And, um... They figure out how to de-virtualize William, and, and so that's fine. And as spoilers, by the way, I guess, for all of Code Lyoko. Um, not Code Lyoko Evolution, though. Haven't seen that yet. We're gonna watch that. I don't know why I'm gonna watch that. They're probably gonna watch it soon, so I'll be even more pissed off about it. Um, it just... There's some really killery shit going on. There's not... It's the same thing again and again. It's like William is there and he's fighting them and it's like, you know, at this point I've seen this kind of premise on Lyoko. I seen it, you know? <laughs> that whole shit. Um, I've seen that on Lyoko like a bunch of times. 90 something times, you know? And I'm just... I'm a little bit tired of it, you know? It wears as it goes along. They didn't do enough to, to add enough. They tried to add some stuff, and and to, to their credit, there was some variety and stuff, but with the whole destroying the supercomputers and the replica and the digital scene and the skidblanot or whatever the fuck it's called, all of that, right? It, it just... I kind of wish that they would have just focused more on wrapping things up, which they did later on. They added that Colossus thing, which is like, that could have been cool, but it was in like two episodes, you know? Like, that should have been like a thing that they were trying to defeat the whole season. Maybe that would have gotten kind of repetitive, but I'm just like, what if... What if that's your excuse, you know, if you're going to the replicas? This whole big monster is like there destroying Lyoko, right? And so the urgency of the matter, um, obviously the urgency is to destroy Xana, but they don't... There's hundreds of these replica things. They even say that in one of the last few episodes there. It's like, there's no way that they were ever going to get around it. The only way they found to get around it was, like, Jeremy's like, I'm going to do that thing that I did before with the Marabunta, and I'm going to, like, create a virus to defeat Xana. And then, like, Franz Hopper, like, sacrifices himself to, like, give Jeremy the ability to do that. And there's that's another thing. Like, Franz Hopper's kind of in this he's like a ball of like light that like helps them a couple of times i don't know at this point you know that none of this really I, you, it's like it just wears on you because it's like when i was watching season one and two i'm like this is still cool this is still you know pretty nostalgic thing the, the, the episodes were better the, the gimmick hadn't wore off yet you know like Definitely by the time you reach season four, it is just a lot of the same shit and it's just you you're just tired of it by that point, you know, and that's that's what it comes down to. It just it, it It went on for too long, you know? That's the thing. I, I think had season three been the last season maybe, and they had just done a lot of this stuff in season three, 
you know, maybe cut some more fillery sort of episodes, and, and we would have been, we've been a lot better for it, you know? Um, this could have been like a lean 80 episode show, but I think there's definitely like most of a season too much. Um, it's just one of the seasons were shorter anyway. They could have just like made three seasons and then made it like a regular three seasons and it would have been fine, but. You know, okay, and then here's the thing though. Despite all of that, despite the problems, despite you know, maybe a feeling of, I don't know, like, is this the best ending we could have came up with? I mean, it was an alright ending, you know, it's just kind of, some of it's like a clip show, you know what I mean? Like, uh, so, there's that, but, and I'm fine with that. Honestly, if they had, uh, if they had taken, like, more than just from season four, they, a lot of the clips were from season four, which is like, okay whatever but you know it's just like they could have done more with that but uh, despite all of that despite it being kind of a rough ending in terms of just like because I, fe I feel like the show had a lot more potential to do something better for an ending um, we didn't really get that much resolution with the whole Yumi Ulrich thing. I mean, that's still pretty rocky. I know they kind of on again, off again throughout the show, and it would have just been nice to see that wrapped up a little bit better. Uh, I'm sure maybe that gets a little more coverage in the evolution or whatever, and I'm sure in the, uh, I know there's like two at least fan projects that are like continuing the series, and I think even in some of them, like were animated, like, episodes basically continuing the series, so, um, that could be interesting at some point, I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna watch that stuff, like, right now, but, it just, I don't know, it just felt like more of the same, and, and, and it, and it leads to a sort of disappointing sort of, um, season where it's just kind of yeah they're doing some different stuff but it's like also the gimmicks wore out at this point you know what I mean like um but just it, despite how much I'm complaining that's that's what I'm trying to get to so despite how much I've been complaining I still think this show is a great show overall. It has its problems, but it it still is, is creative in a lot of ways, you know. And 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 it it um inspired me creatively in a lot of ways. And I I think there's a lot of good elements to it. You know, there's a lot of like uh, sort of mystery stuff that they kind of lose later on, and that's part of why it kind of gets less interesting later on because you already kind of know everything that's going on. Um, a lot of the Xanification stuff was, was cool, and, um, you know, it had good characters, and, and decent writing, and whatnot, and just, like, a solid premise overall. I just think it needed to be, like, a little bit shorter, and, you know, maybe a little less Lyoko-focused. Focus more on the characters and stuff, and... Because that's where the show really shines at. Um, the Yoko stuff is fine, but it's usually the stuff that's the least interesting part of um, whatever episode we're dealing with. You know, I'm more interested in the mystery behind Franz Hopper and, like, uh, little random things that they're doing in their day-to-day -day lives. Like, you know, this music is from, like, them just kind of hanging out and stuff. And that was the better parts of the show. And I know sometimes that gets a little dull too, but I feel like as a middle school student, I really related to that stuff, you know? And, and I think that I really latched on to a lot of that. And uh, like, oh, and then like the sissy trying to find out the mystery of like what, what they're doing stuff. Like that stuff's interesting, I think. Um, 
I don't mind the layout ghost stuff, but I just think it goes on for a little bit too long. And then, and then when you've seen it, you've seen it, you know? You, you know what's happening. There's only so many times you can impress me with flashy visuals, and, and then I'm going to get bored of it after a while. But, I, I understand that it's baked into the premise of the show, and you kind of have to do that, so. I still really like the show, like I said, I really still like the characters. I think the music is actually pretty good, um, it's well, well composed and whatnot, um. The overall storyline is good at points. Um, like I said, it drags a little later on because um, I think that's part of it. It's 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 uh, we're not trying to do a specific thing anymore. We're just trying to like there's like a million loose different things that they're doing, and, and it kind of just I don't know feels odd and <laughs> not the character. Um, and then the ending kind of just feels a little bit rushed too, maybe. Like, I feel like they could have explored some of that more. Um, and they certainly had time to do it. They just chose to spend that on sort of more fillery episodes, you know, so. Um, it's... It's fine. I, I think this is definitely, like, the weakest season out of all of the four seasons, though. And that's what's disappointing about it. They didn't really stick... <laughs> the landing, you know, or they, they went out with a whimper instead of a bang, you know, like, um, kind of thing, so. A lot of good shows will, or media in general, will end with something really epic and you, you feel like, oh, that really paid off, you know? I'm not sure this is one of those things. I, I, I don't know, maybe some of the other media will, will kind of satisfy some of that for me. I, I, you know, they finally defeat Xana and shut off the supercomputer and all that. And they're even conflicted about shutting off the supercomputer and stuff. And that's just kind of it, you know? And that's just the end. Like, they have one last little laugh with Jim there. and That's kind of it, you know? And it's just like, I don't know. I just, maybe I was expecting a little bit more, <laughs> you know? And... But, but the problem is, I don't feel like whatever Evolution's gonna offer, you know, like where the Xana's apparently back now or something, like how, how the fuck does that work? And then it just kind of like defeats the point of the ending of the original, which admittedly was just okay to begin with, so maybe that's fine, but like... It cheapens it, you know? It's like the whole point was you're trying to defeat Xana. Honestly, I wish kind of, I kind of wish, um, and maybe they'll go this direction, but I kind of wish Evolution was just its own thing, you know? It's just like, um, not that it can't be Code Lyoko related, but why do we have to bring Xana back, you know? Because Xana's iconic, right? Like, it's like, create a new villain that we have to, like, fight and stuff. I just think bringing back the same villain is kind of a lazy move, you know? It's like they defeated Xana. I mean, it wasn't a great defeat of Xana, but it was. And then they, they have these live action elements. It's just like, what the fuck is this? Like, come on. Everyone loved the 2D animated style. That was cool, right? It had its really unique art style. And some people don't love it, I guess. But they're big foreheads and whatnot. But I, I, it's charming, you know? And, and for, for its time especially, it looks very good. You know, I feel like. Um, part of me wonders, like... You know, I'm sure a lot of these, like, fillery sort of things for Season 4 was because they really had cut the show back. Apparently, like, a bunch of the episodes, or at least some of the episodes, like, only released online, like, digitally. And then only later re-aired on, on, like, Cartoon Network and stuff. Like, so that, that's kind of weird and disappointing, like... They might have just barely got this ending, so I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad it had an ending. I'm just saying I. I don't think the ending lives up to, you know, what what the show's ending could have lived up to. You know, because it's, it's a great show overall. Like I said, it's certainly not perfect. Obviously, it's got a lot of flaws. It it definitely meanders a lot it definitely has a lot of filler issues 
But I feel like the early seasons are like proof that this concept is really good and it could have sustained doing well to the later seasons. It's just those kind of fall a bit flat, you know? Um... And I can't pinpoint for you exactly what went wrong, but I think a lot of filler, like I said, and, and just it going on for too long feels bad because it's like you did what you were going to do. Get in, get out, you know, maybe write a satisfying ending and you're good to go, you know, kind of thing. And I know that's easier said than done, but... Um, At the end of the day, I'm glad the show exists, because it is kind of the villain of the week sort of thing. I mean, it is always Xana, but, you know, he's Xanifying different things and doing different schemes, or I wish he was doing different schemes. He's doing kind of the same thing. He just possesses people and wrecks havoc on these friggin' teenagers, but... Um... It, it kind of gives way to other shows like Miraculous Ladybug and stuff where it's like they kind of use a similar formula where you know there's a villain of the week and I know that's not a new concept you know obviously like even like Sailor Moon did that back in the day and stuff but um the French animated shows got to stick together kind of thing you know so um yeah but The show is nostalgic, sure, and it is a time capsule back to my middle school days, but I also think that beyond that, people can still enjoy this show, and should still enjoy this show, um, despite its flaws, you know, and uh, I definitely recommend 1.5 speed uh, for the most part, um, it works out pretty well, so makes the show certainly go a lot faster um i don't know if i can recommend fully watching the show without speeding it up a little bit because that would sure be tedious but i don't know maybe for our first watch just go like one two point two five speed or something like i tried to slow it down during like one of the lyoko action scenes and it was so slow that i just like my brain couldn't even process it it was just like oh my god what the fuck are we doing here like this is how I used to watch this show, you know, like, um, I don't know. Anyway. I still really enjoy this show, like I said, and it's probably not for everyone, and I know it's a kind of, maybe, sort of a you-had-to-be-there thing, but I think it still holds up in a lot of regards. There's a lot of elements that isn't even just that it doesn't hold up, it's just that they didn't really do well, you know, with making a lot of filler, that kind of stuff. It's like, in that regard, I'm blaming the show for those things, but that's only, like, kind of the later seasons. I mean, they do kind of do it in the earlier seasons, too, but the concept is more fresh, so it's less annoying or less tedious um, at that rate. But I still think it's a fun show, and I still think it's worth watching and experiencing. Because, um, you know, I, I, I really enjoy it. And I, I think, is there shows from my childhood that hold up better? Are there shows from my childhood that hold up better? Yeah, definitely. Like, um, I'd love to do it like a Danny Phantom rewatch. I remember that show holding up pretty well. Um... Avatar The Last Airbender. Obviously, that was on a whole other level of quality. Um, but, you know, some stuff like that, and Teen Titans and stuff, like, even from that same era, the Maguzi era, right? You know, who doesn't remember Maguzi, right? It's nobody at this point. That's what fucking Kovioka was headlining that shit with, like, Totally Spies, and, like, I think Teen Titans was on there. I don't remember. It, it's been a long time since fucking Maguzi, but... It sure takes me back, you know? It's a it's a thing from my childhood that I still think is, is pretty great. And it's still very watchable. And, and maybe it would be better 
if you kind of cut it up by season. So like, you know, watch a season, give it a few weeks, watch the next season, give that a few weeks, and then maybe the concept won't have worn on so much, but I don't know. I still think the later seasons, or even just maybe season four, is like kind of flawed and, like I said, just less good overall than some of the previous seasons where we're still building up stuff. They lost, they lost a purpose, you know? Um, maybe if the purpose had been more clearly destroying Xana, like, if you've been working on that virus the entire time, that would have maybe given us a through line through Season 4. But, it just all kind of resolves very quickly, and that's, it's disappointing, you know? And I know they kind of had issues, like, making the show or whatever. And that's probably why, but, um, yeah, I don't know. It's still a great show. I still would recommend it. And then and, and the characters are great. The music's great. The most of the stuff in the real world is great. The Lyoko sections go on for a bit too long, but they're kind of cool sometimes. Um, I do like the romance between Link, Ulrich, and Yumi, and like Aelita and Jeremy, but they don't really do a lot with it. I think Miraculous Ladybug is definitely a way better example of like a romance show. Um, I know the core of that show is more built on that romance, but uh, I think the the utilization of those elements here is kind of underwhelming. You know, I mean, they 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 hint at it all the time. They just never resolve it and that kind of pisses me off because i i loved that ship even back in the day that was like probably one of the earlier ships i actually really cared about other than like zutara and like wait not zutara god damn it they got me i, I was listening to that uh from the spirit world podcast the other day they were talking about zutara uh katang oh, i'm not a zutara shipper don't 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 quote me on that one um anyway Stuff like that, stuff like, uh, you know, I don't know, Robin and Starfire, maybe, stuff like that. I'm trying to think of, like, the really good ships from back in the day. It's, it's difficult at the moment, but it lives on through shit like Miraculous Ladybug, for sure. Um. Yeah. So. I don't know. You know. I just feel so defeated at this point. Maybe I'm Zan. I'm just, uh, I feel so defeated at this point because it's just like the show's over and all that's left is maybe a worse version of the show that would continue it. Um, and that doesn't make me feel great, you know? So, I don't know. We'll see what I think of that. We'll see what the future holds. Hopefully, maybe evolution's good. Who the fuck knows, right? I don't know. Maybe they'll actually resolve some of the things I have problems with or try and do something really different or something. We'll see what happens. But I, I want to I wanna have more energy here at the end, but it's just like, I swear Kill the Oak is a good show. Go watch it, you know? But see, I say that, and then it's like, yeah, but do you really need to watch Code Lyoko if you haven't seen, like, Miraculous Ladybug, or maybe The Owl House, you know? It's definitely lower on the list of things you need, The Good Place, you know? And if you watch that video, um... Definitely go watch some of those shows first, but I would say this is a good show if you've seen, like, pretty much everything else. I don't know. There you go. Until next time, this is Emily. Uh, stick around, subscribe to join the Bad Girl Coven. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Never forget magic comes from the heart. Code Lyoko will withstand it all. Code Lyoko be the way you go. Code Lyoko we will stand real tall. Code Lyoko stronger after all. Bye. <laughs>